member of Blue Tales in Action at Coral Springs High School. We started in 2016 to through 2017 as a small club at school, and then from 2017 to 2018, my sophomore year, we got our, one of our administrators to start it as a class. That year we had two classes. And then this year, 2018 through 2019, we started with a new teacher, incredible teacher, and now we have four classes, and we have a good 150 students who signed up for next year. Last year, I was asked to teach Latinos in Action for the 2018-2019 school year. I decided to take the opportunity because I felt like what I was teaching curriculum-wise with my English classes wasn't what I thought our students should be learning in high school. Um, I think that we need to teach our students more college and career readiness activities and give them life skills that they can use for the rest of their lives. At the beginning of the school year, taking over Latinos in Action, I had the students write a journal on what they wanted to accomplish this school year versus what they had accomplished last school year. And a lot of the students said that they wanted to create more activities community-wise, school-based, and with the elementary schools that we tutor at. Some of the activities that we took place were the Breast Cancer Awareness Walk, where we raised $2,000 for breast cancer research. Um, we went to the SOS Children's Village in Coconut Creek, where the students were able to work with the foster care children for a Halloween activity and for a holiday activity. We had a clothing drive this school year. It initially started to benefit the people of Dominican Republic, but then we actually had the opportunity to help a student from Coral Springs High School who lost all of their belongings in a fire at their home. We were also featured in the Colt Connection article where they spoke about Latinos in Action and all that um, the Coral Springs chapter has been doing. 